Welcome everyone. Today I want to start this video thanking everyone for the support in my previous videos. Thanks for all your comments. Thanks for all your likes and your shares. I really appreciate it. Thanks for helping me grow this community. As much as you think that I'm helping you, you're also helping me. I reach, I read every single one of your comments and I really take them to heart. So thank you. I appreciate it. I really do. So the topic of today's videos is going to be on MPCs, multi-party computation. It is a very technical computer engineering heavy topic, but I'm going to try to break it down in an everyday world example that may resonate with more people. I am a visual learner, so I can see it in this way. This is how I interpreted MPCs. This is how I've been interpreting, interpreting MPCs. So I've been doing research on MPCs for a while now. And this is how I understand it. I made a video a few days ago about privacy protocols within Cardano and the importance of obfuscating some metadata from when institutions are running smart contracts or whoever's running certain smart contracts or whatever they're doing within the ecosystem. Not all data needs to be visible to everyone in the blockchain. If you are Bank of America and you're running a dApp on the Cardano ecosystem in the future, why do you need all of your customers' data um, just completely transparent? Same thing for medical records. There has to be some privacy in order for this thing to work. For institutional support to build the next generation of decentralized applications, we're going to need some privacy. So, NPCs. Shortly after I released that video, Charles tweeted that IOHK has a new paper and it's called Insured MPC, Efficient, Secure, Multi-Party Computation with Punishable Abort. And I thought it was very interesting. This paper is, it was written by IOHK and it is a very long paper. I, I believe it's over 50 pages. I didn't get through all 50 pages. I got through probably the first 10 to 15 before things just started going completely over my head. But from what I understand, Things are looking great, and I want to liken this MPC, multi-party computation, to a certain example that maybe most people can relate to. Think about when you were a kid. Let's say you had a birthday party, or your friend had a birthday party, or if you've ever been invited to a Sweet 16, or a quinceanera, or a graduation party, and everyone that's coming, you have family, you have friends, they're all bringing gifts. Some people are bringing $10, some bring, people are bringing $25. You may have a rich grandma that gives you $50 or $100 and you feel very proud. And you may have some cheap friends that give you $5. Or you may have some cheap family members that give you like a few dollars. And everyone hides their money in this little envelope and they put it in a box at the party. And then the recipient counts that money towards the end. And there's a reason why people hide money in envelopes is because, first of all, I guess it's just a custom thing, but they don't want other people seeing how much they gave to the recipient. Otherwise, you would just hand them cash. And they also want that person maybe to know their gift. But not everyone wants the per people to know how much they gave because some people are giving far less than what, what they should be or feel like they should be. So that being said, MPCs or multi-party computations is this idea of taking multiple inputs and kind of scrambling the data so the output, they do not know, they cannot identify the input. So basically what that means is, let's say Bob gives $5, Jane gives $7, and Steve gives $20. All of that money would be scrambled together and at the end, you would get your total. And I said 20 plus 5 plus 7. So we're looking at $32. So they would know the output, the recipient. Let's say it's Joe's Sweet 16. Joe's Sweet 16 just received $32. But they wouldn't be able to identify that person A gave this, person B gave this, and person C gave this. But the issue with multi-party computations is let's say that those three people put all their money in that box, in that gift box. Um, but what if someone lied about the amount of money that they actually put in that box? So what happens in multi-party computations is that person gets punished. Either they get taxed. Let's say that Jane said she gave $7, but actually, say she gave $7, but she actually gave $5. So she would maybe be taxed or she may be kicked out of the system. And then the computation would have to run over again. 
But the thing is, this is extremely energy intensive and it's computationally intensive. So it takes a lot of work just for nothing. So you would get to the end conclusion just, have to, just having to recycle back. And I don't know if funds would be given back to each respective party, but I'm not 100% sure what would go on in that situation. But if that party is lying, if Jane is lying, her input gets revealed to everyone. So everyone knows that she did not give what she said she gave. And this could be for any particular situation, any particular person within an MPC. So Cardano is looking to do something a little bit different. They are looking to do something called a new multi-party additively homomorphic commitment with delayed public verifiability. So think about that box. We have those three people that put the money in the box. And let us take this example. And before they put that in the gift box, that money would be subject to a smart contract. And that smart contract would identify whether or not those amounts were verified without identifying the input. So it would be a third party. So a third party, before it went into the box, would identify that, oh, yes, person A gave this, person B gave this, and person C gave this. Everything is correct. So that would ensure that before it gets scrambled in the box so no one knows how much money each person gave, that would make sure that that smart contract would allow people to verify or that system to verify that all the amounts are correct. So this saves that whole computational effort of running the entire system before you knowing that there's a dishonest party. So I think that Cardano is doing a great job with this. And I think that it's very important to be as sustainable and scalable as possible. And I think that this is going to allow for more scalability within the situation. So people are going to be able to run more private protocols and they're going to be able to run more private smart contracts. And they're going to be able to obfuscate their data in a way that's going to scale with the blockchain instead of having all these secret contracts that, you know, there's one rogue actor and they're messing up the system consistently, consistently. The system is not going to run without first verifying everything that's going on. And that third party system will never identify the inputs. They won't identify the inputs unless that input is lying. Then that person gets broadcast into the blockchain. So I think that this is a great way and they're taking it from that one step approach. So it's like, it's a, it's a, block-like approach. So they're solving the issue at step one instead of waiting for step three to solve the issue and rerun that system back. So let me know what you think about this situation. Let me know what you think about certain data being obfuscated for certain institutions or for certain personal funds. People need to have some sort of privacy within the, the blockchain ecosystem. You can't have a mark on your life for the rest of your life. And especially if you're moving within certain systems and you want certain data to be not visibly known to every single person in the public because you can just tie certain someone's name to an address and you can follow them for a long period of time until they just completely ditch that address. And if they send those funds from one address to another, you can just continue following them. So what do you think about this? Please like, comment, and subscribe and let me know what you think. And once again, this is MPC's multi-party computations. If you have something else to add, please add it below. Thank you.